The spirits in Smash Ultimate are trash. Yep, I said it. Every time I see these spirits, I just can't help but think of trophies in previous Smash games. And that the spirits are its replacements. There are many flaws with the spirits in Smash Ultimate. And I have five of these flaws to share with you all. And number one is the repetitiveness. When you first start doing spirit battles, they're pretty fun. But as time goes on, it starts to get repetitive. There's just so many of them that are so similar. And with getting them, you can easily cheese the spirits, even with the legends. Most are really gimmicky, but with most of them, you can just mash the C-Stick with smash attacks and win. Also, the battles where you need to block the wind, the poison, the fire, the electric, whatever, these are... they're everywhere. And <laughs> the challenge in them is removing the effect. All you do is just remove the effect. There's literally no challenge to these, and there's so many of these. There are some genuinely great spirit battles that are clever and funny that resemble the character they're representing, but it's just that maybe 3% uh, of them are good. There's just way too many of them to where very few stand out. And since a lot of them feel just very similar, uh, that's where spirit battles just lose its fun. Number two, the shopping. Another major flaw with these spirits is that you can buy them in the shop. Now, trophies were also purchasable, right? So what's the big deal? Well, with the spirits, you can buy just about every single one, unlike past Smash games with trophies, which there were multiple exclusive ones. Also, you have a total of six different shops to buy spirits from. Six. And you know what makes this buying spirit situation worse? You can even buy the legend spirits. Making the strongest spirits available for purchase is just kind of ridiculous. I mean, there's no real sense of accomplishment to where you will beat a spirit. Maybe it takes you a long time to beat that spirit. And then you go to the shop and then, oh wow, there's the legend spirit I just got. <laughs> that I could just buy. And yeah, it's like, what's the point in even battling these legend spirits when you can just buy them? Number three is classic mode. Other than the world of light, spirit boards, and the six shops, you can also get spirits from classic mode. What's really cool about classic mode in Smash Ultimate is that every fighter has their own set route of battles. And in past Smash games, it was pretty repetitive. The route would be about the same each time for every fighter, but at the end, you would be rewarded an exclusive trophy for whoever you fought as. This gave an incentive to play Classic, and I had a lot of fun in Smash 4 getting those trophies. Now, what do you get in Smash Ultimate at the end of Classic mode? Well, you get a fighter spirit which does nothing as a spirit, and is just for collecting. By the way, you can also buy these spirits in the shop. So, what is the point in playing classic mode? No exclusive spirit. I mean, maybe they thought it would get annoying for some players to play through all the routes, but like, come on. You literally fixed it to be different for each one. There is also All-Star Mode, which they made it kind of trash. In previous Smash games though, it was nice to go through the years and then be rewarded in an exclusive trophy, and I had a lot of fun doing that in Smash 4. And plus, some of those trophies are my favorite in the game. They're all based off the final Smashes and they just look really sick. Now, flaw number four kind of goes with number five in a way, and it's about the collection. I mean, right off the bat, the collection of spirits is just... it's not that great. Going through the list of spirits, it just looks like someone's folder full of PNG files. And what I would really wish for is some kind of spirit hoard. And what that is, is um, 
in previous Smash games, there was the Trophy Horde, and there you would see them all in one place. You know, maybe on the table, like in Melee, and you see all the game consoles in the background. It was so cool, because it shows you, from the start you'll have like maybe five, and then it grows to like a hundred, and it's really cool to see that. The fifth flaw is the descriptions. Where the heck are these descriptions? Maybe they realize people nowadays can just look up anything on their phones, but who's really gonna do that? Like, what in the world is this thing? I wanna know, but I'm not gonna go way out of my way to go read about it. Smash is a massive series, and it opens up so many doors to millions of people to new franchises. Having the descriptions for trophies was a convenience to just learn more about different characters items or stages. This is the biggest complaint I hear about Spirits in Ultimate, and it's understandable why. You go through all these boring battles and given literal trash with no meaning to it. Fans have actually created a website to where it has a description for every single spirit, even the DLC ones. I mean, it's incredible. I definitely recommend checking it out. With Spirits, it's a hollowed shell of what trophies were. Comparing trophies to Spirits, is like comparing this to this. Even though trophies are digital, they feel physical because it's something you earned and has meaning to it. With a spirit, you turn it around and it's just blank. It's empty. It's just images pulled from Google. This whole video has basically been me trashing the spirits, but you know what? Let's switch that around. Let's see if we can improve the spirits. Number one, to fix the collection, add descriptions and a spirit horde to see them all together. Number two, make it so fighter spirits from classic mode give certain boosts to that specific character. Fixing these spirits will make them actually worthwhile and also give a reason to play classic. Also, don't make them available in the shop. Why the heck did they do that? Number three, we need fewer spirits. There are way too many of them, and a lot of their abilities are just copy and paste. I would much prefer if there were less, and I think we can all agree on that. This kind of goes with three, but I want these specific spirits gone. The ones that block the wind, fire, poison, electricity, whatever. I, I hate these. <laughs> just get them out of here. There are so many battles with these, and it's just so lame because, like I said earlier, you just slap on a spirit to get rid of the effect. Honestly, I would like to fight in these conditions. The challenge for these elemental spirits at their current state is just to remove the effect. There is literally no challenge in it. You just remove it. Number five, with cutting down battles, it would make it a lot more fun. But I realized maybe before you fight a spirit, it would have a sentence or two of dialogue. The spirits in Smash Ultimate, they feel pretty soulless, but they have so much potential. Smash is a massive crossover series, and it would be fun to see different interactions like a certain character being in a fighter's body. This wouldn't just be limited to spirits though, you could also have this for fighters as well in the world of light. With these five changes, I think it would improve the spirits a lot. But even with these fixes, I think I would still prefer trophies. Although, if World of Light was done a bit better, maybe not. If any of you have any improvements on the spirits or maybe something you don't like about the spirits that I didn't cover, I would love to hear them. Even though trophies are missing in Smash Ultimate, it doesn't take away of how great of a game it is. There's flaws with every game, but if spirits had just a little bit more time put into them, I feel like they could have been amazing. This video has been in the works for three years. And with this video finally being posted, it is going to open the gates. <laughs> because there's so many video ideas I have, but I had to get this one out first to get that massive stress off of me. And now I am free. Well, not yet because I'm in the past and I haven't uploaded it yet, but I will be free. Anyways, 
I uh, hope you all enjoyed the video and I'll see you all next time.